If you're watching TRTS Clips, a clip-sized content playlist that encloses experiences and stories of some of the most amazing intellectually sound people from different walks of life, you enjoy this particular clip and don't forget to check out the entire playlist. If you like it, please support us by sharing it. Now, without further ado, the guest is all yours. If you could just explain in a very short to our listeners and what actually is Ethereum and Ether and like why is it so famous in blockchain world? Okay, so Ethereum is one of the most popular cryptocurrencies, so probably the second one after um, Bitcoin. Yeah. So Ethereum team created that cryptocurrency and just after that, what happened was it became a platform for ICOs. So uh, basically all the blockchain startups were raising money. So basically what ICOs were, ICOs were uh, just like a Kickstarter on a blockchain, right? So it was a crowdfunding system uh, where they were presenting their projects and then people who wanted to invest or you know contribute to building up that project they were getting the token that they were issued was issued by the project and yeah. ethereum platform was a platform that they were using and the currency that they were raising so people were buying the tokens of the projects by paying with ethereum Okay. So basically, they were raising Ethereum, just like Kickstarter is raising in USD, Euro, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The currency of the fundraising of ICOs was Ethereum, which yeah. meant that you know during the ICO hype, when all these projects were um, you know raising lots of money, Ethereum was kind of the currency, and therefore its usage and its kind of the amount of people who had Ethereum was growing substantially because many people mm-hmm. wanted to participate in the fundraising, they had to get Ethereum first, right? And therefore, it's kind of, you know, it had a proven permanent usage and liquidity because of the whole ecosystem. So yeah, I mean, it was a very good sort of project in terms of what it did essentially was it democratized fundraising and investment because at that point of time it was up it was basically for anyone from everywhere 